I don't know if we've had an opportunity to talk during this pandemic, so let's just start with the basics. How, how are you thinking uh, about our economy right now and, and where you think we're all headed? I think the bottom has been hit. I don't think it's uh, going to get deeper in terms of a recession than what we have now. I think we're coming out of it. I think people can overreact, and I think there has been some overreaction in the markets from time to time. Clearly, the economy is not a body blow. We haven't had anything like this for generations, but I do think we're on our way back. And there'll be some gyrations up and down as we go through this for the next couple months. But I think generally the economy is in reasonably good shape uh, looking over the next six to nine months or so. But it's not going to be proof. It's going to take a while to get back to where we were at the height of the, uh, of the bull market. David, tell us, you, you, you have a wide portfolio uh, of companies, uh, and you have your fingers in a, in a lot of different industries, a lot of different businesses. Just, just give us a little bit of a snapshot, a sense of what you're seeing right now in, in terms of those businesses. Well, clearly, businesses in the United States are down right now and uh, in many different categories. So obviously, the technology companies and health companies are doing OK. Uh, China is coming back. Uh, Europe is not as weak as some people in the United States think. The emerging markets will have some struggle because of their currency going against the dollar. Uh, their currency might have some challenges. But generally, I think the worst has been has occurred already, and I think we're heading back. But again, we're going to have these ups and downs over the next couple of uh, months, and I think people should not overreact to the, uh, the news about the virus being bigger here or, or breaking out there. Uh, I think the economy is now in reasonable shape. And uh, it, it's not going to be perfect, for sure. And there are a lot of people out of work. But I think we're heading back to where we want to be. It's just going to take some time to get there. Okay, so let me ask you, as, as an investor, what were you doing a month or two ago? And what do you anticipate trying to do in the next several months in terms of putting think, money to work? Well, in the world in which I am more involved, private equity as opposed to daily trading, uh, private equity people have been making certain the companies they already own are in reasonable shape. We learned from the last recession, you have to shore up what you already own. And a lot of people have been doing that and making certain those companies have enough liquidity, enough cash. They, they, they might need some additional equity. They might need some additional debt. But we've been focused on that. I think as we get to the next phase of this, you're going to see people buying more and more companies that they don't already own, probably at prices that seem a little bit cheaper than they would have been about you know six months ago. Well, that's what I was going to ask you, though. How do you how do you feel about valuations? Because while you are playing in the private markets, the private markets, I imagine, are going to try to reflect the public markets. And despite right. this little blip that we've had in the past 24 hours, and we'll see whether it, it gets better or worse, you know, as we've been talking about, it's almost as if the virus didn't happen. Well, the markets have the public markets have probably been ahead of where the economy is for a while. But the public markets, as you know, are a forward indicator. Um, from time to time, the markets may get excited. But generally, I think the economy has probably bottomed out from where it was going to go. And I think it's heading back. And as people head back to work, we should recognize that you can get a fair amount of work done at home. And I also think people would recognize that the economy isn't going to be the same economy we knew before. Everybody's not going to come back to work who was hired before. Uh, some people are going to work from home. Some companies are not going to be as successful as before. And some will be more successful than before. Economies evolve. I think that the worst part is probably behind us, but I don't want to make it sound as if I'm uh, Pollyannish. I do think there's going to be challenges going forward, but I don't think there's any reason for panic. And I do think the federal Are government you of the view has done a pretty good job of putting in right. money. I think the federal government has done a, as good a job as you could probably expect of uh, uh, putting liquidity into the economy. That's made it possible for us to be where we are today. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. Are, a, are you of the view that we're going to need more stimulus money? Um, from from Congress and what you think the Federal Reserve is or isn't going to do going forward? I think the Congress is likely to pass one more uh, stimulus bill, somewhere in the one and a half trillion dollar range would be my guess. Um, probably sometime in July would be what I would expect. And they'll have many components of the programs we've already seen, some of the ones that have worked successfully. I do think there'll be some assistance to the states and local governments. I do think that there'll be some... Uh, additional uh, loan programs. And I do think that some of the uh, issues that have been addressed will probably be uh, uh, raised again in these bills. Not all liability issues will probably be taken care of. I think the Federal Reserve recognizes that it is a key player and it is the, maybe the key player. I think they've done a wonderful job of putting liquidity into the market. 
And, and I do think that's been very helpful. And I think they are prepared to do more if necessary, and I suspect they will.